If you've been too tired, too lazy, or too much of a procrastinator to get your work done for school or work and just wish that the internet could do it for you, congratulations, your dreams have come true. You may have recently seen on Twitter all the people trying out this new AI tool where you ask a machine learning writing tool to write something for you based on a prompt that you give. Some people have even been calling it a potential Google killer because you're able to ask it anything and get an answer like a search engine. You're able to ask it to help you brainstorm ideas for any topic or you can even ask it for things like essays and more. The tool is called ChatGPT and is by OpenAI, the same company that does the Dolly AI generated art illustrations that you may have seen a couple months ago. And this tool is currently free. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to use this tool the best possible way to aid your workflow and writing for school or work. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the second link in the description, the one that says openai.com, and then open that up, scroll to the bottom and click Try Chat GPT. From here, if you aren't logged into an OpenAI account, it's gonna ask you to either log into your account or make one. Go ahead and do that. You should note that some people have privacy concerns with AI and machine learning tools. So if you're worried about privacy, you might want to read into their privacy policy a bit more before signing up and creating an account. But once you're in, you'll see this pretty simple tool and it'll give you examples of certain things that you can ask including explain quantum computing in simple terms or got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday. It also tells you the capabilities of the AI, including remembering what you said in a conversation. It allows you to provide follow-up corrections to something that was written. So if something's not quite right, you are able to correct it and it will deny any inappropriate requests that you may prompt it with. It also lets you know the limitations of this, including that it may give you incorrect information occasionally. So make sure that you're always reading what it has to say and fact checking it before you submit this for something like school or work because occasionally it doesn't get everything quite right and that might be a giveaway that you're using this tool. It also says that it may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. I don't exactly know what it's getting at here but something to note. And it also has limited knowledge of the world or events after 2021. And before using this make sure that your school or workplace has not outlawed AI generated text because if it has, you might get in trouble for using this if they find out, and I don't wanna be responsible for that. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and add in a question that you want to be answered. So what I might say is something like, give me an essay on the symbolism of the green light in The Great Gatsby. Click enter and it will start writing for you. Green light is a significant symbol that represents the hope and possibilities that Gatsby associates with Daisy Buchanan. This gesture suggests that Gatsby sees the green light as a symbol of his love for Daisy and his desire to be with her. And then it keeps going. You can also add in a follow-up question. So you could say something like, can you add in a section about Gatsby's past relating to the green light? And then it continues and says, in The Great Gatsby, Gatsby's past is shrouded in mystery and is only revealed gradually throughout the novel. However, it is clear that Gatsby's past is intertwined with the symbolism of the green light. And then it continues on. Now, I don't even know if that's true. I don't remember enough about The Great Gatsby to remember if that's true. But yeah, you can ask for more detail on certain subjects and things like that using follow-up questions. Now, I wouldn't say that this is a long, long, long essay. It seems to always stop right around this length, like one full computer page. If you asked for every single one of your ideas um, in an essay, as one of these questions, you might be able to fill up a longer essay though. So let's try something different. So I've put in, give me a strategic document to show how a marketing professional can increase sales for an online clothing brand. It's just something random. Let's see if it can do it. Sure, here's a high level strategic document outlining some steps. Number one, identify the target audience for the brand and create buyer personas to understand their needs, preferences, and pain points. Number two, develop a unique value proposition for the brand that differentiates it from competitors and highlights its key selling points. Three, create a comprehensive marketing plan that outlines the tactics and channels to be used to create and engage the target audience. So yeah, this is pretty general, but actually could be very helpful for you if you are new to the workforce and need to come up with like strategic documents or sort of just want a starting point where you can then elaborate on some of these points. I'm pretty impressed with this because you could definitely beef this up and tailor it to your business. You always make sure you're reading what the AI has said before you're submitting it for anything. A lot of times it says something that is not quite right and you need to be there to fact check it. Secondly, don't use this for anything too, too technical. You really need to use professionals for things that might 
affect your life like a contract. So please just be smart when using this tool, but it can be really helpful if you do use it the right way. So I hope you can use this to your benefit. Also, if you are in the video creation space and you want to try out AI tools for video editing, make sure to try Kapwing by clicking the first link in the description below, which has many AI tools to help edit your videos in record speed, including Smart Cut, which automatically edits out all the silences and pauses in your video in just a couple clicks, and Magic Subtitles with word-by-word -word animations, which can subtitle your videos with the correct timing in just a couple clicks, and add word-by-word -word animations in minutes, not hours. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and to keep up with other AI trends that are going on right now. We recently just made a video all about the AI profile picture generator, and you can watch that by clicking somewhere up here, wherever that pop-up is. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.